Uh, yes, uh, Jeff Peskin from New York City. And uh, I, was, I have a question on the annual report where you say that um, obviously going forward, uh, due to the size of Berkshire, the returns going forward probably won't match the returns of the past. And then you go uh, on to state that uh, one thing that may hinder that is the fact that you don't really like to sell companies that you own. And I would just like to uh, know what the reasoning is in that if you've got a company or investment that you don't think is going to do as well as where you could put the money going forward, what really the reasoning is for, for holding on uh, and not redeploying the money elsewhere. Yeah, I'll just correct you just slightly on that. A, I didn't say we'd probably do worse than the past. I said we will do worse than the past. I mean, there's no way we can match percentage numbers of the past that, uh, uh, you know, we would, in a period that would not take that long, we would, assuming we paid out nothing, we would, uh, uh, we would gobble up the whole GDP, which is something we may think about occasionally, but we don't really expect to accomplish. The, um, but, and, this, and the second point, that that, that that relates to size. That, that does not relate to our unwillingness to sell businesses, because that, that unwillingness has existed for decades. Uh, but the size has not existed for decades. The size is, you know, doubling, doubling uh, uh, 12 billion or so is harder than doubling 1 billion too, which was harder than doubling 120 million. I mean, there's no question about that. So eventually, well, already, uh, it, 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 it will be a drag on performance. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that the performance will be terrible, but it, it, it does mean that 23% is, is, is an historical figure that has no predictive value. The unwillingness to sell businesses, like I say, goes, goes back a long way. That is, that is not what, that, 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 if that hurts performance, it's peanuts. That's simply a fact of a, a function uh, uh, of the attitude Charlie and I have is that if we want to live our lives, we find it, we find it a rarity when we find people in the business that we want to associate with. When we do find that, we enjoy it. Uh, we don't see any reason to make an extra half a percent a year or or one percent a year. Don't try us on higher numbers, but uh, the uh, the uh, we we don't we don't we don't see a reason to uh, to go around uh, ending ending friendships we have with people or, or contact or relationships. It just doesn't make any sense to us. That uh, uh, we don't want we we don't want to get committed to that sort of activity. We know we wouldn't do it if we were a private company. Now, in Berkshire, we feel we've enunciated that position. We want to get that to everybody who might join with us because we don't want them to expect us to do it. We, we want them to expect us to work hard to get a decent result and to make sure that the shareholders get the same result we get and all of that sort of thing. But we don't want to enter into any implicit contract with our fellow shareholders that will cause us to have to behave in a way that we really we don't want to behave. Uh, if, if that's the price of making more money, it's a price we don't want to pay. There's other things we that other things we forego also, but that is the one that people might disagree with us on. So we want to be very sure that everybody understands that going in. That's 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 part of what you buy here, and it may. I don't think it'll hurt performance that much anyway. But to the extent it does, it's 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 a limitation you get with us, Charlie. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's any way to measure it exactly, but my guess is that if you, if you, if you could appraise something, you might call the character of the people that are running the operating businesses in Berkshire, many of whom helped create the businesses in the first place and are leading citizens in their community like the Hellsbergs. I don't think there's any other corporation in America that's done as well as we have if you measure the human quality of the people who are in it. Now you can say we've collected high-grade people because we sure as hell couldn't create them. But uh, one way or another, this is a remarkable system. And why would we tinker with it? If you want to, if you want to attract high-grade people, you probably ought to try and behave pretty well yourself. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's just, it, it's, it, 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 besides, it, it, it wouldn't be any fun doing the other. I mean, it, it, uh, uh, 
I was in that position a little bit when I ran the partnership back in the 60s, and I really, you know, people were coming into partnership with me, and, and my job was to turn out the best return that we could. And I found that if I got into a business, that that presented certain alternatives that I didn't like. So Berkshire's a much more satisfactory in that respect.